chimneys. So it's an expression like you're blowing smoke and it means you're lying. So the point of chimneys is I wanted to talk about how the devil's a liar, but I didn't want to come from the corny, cheesy route. You know, I wanted to say it in a way that maybe it hasn't been said before. And um, you're blowing smoke like a chimney. It's like you're lying. And I can breathe now. You know, it's like I'm not, I don't have to sit around your lies. And it's like I'm surrendering to my king pretty much. So I'm getting away from the smoke of the chimney. Um, so I wrote the song called The Wild Side and pretty much it's about how people who I guess don't believe in God or are just nervous about the thought of living your life for God um, say why why would you live your life for something you know live it for yourself it, it, that's dangerous like what happens if you get to heaven and it's it's not real and it's not true and then I'm just coming from a point of like well number one I know my God is real I know my God is true so I guess if you think it's dangerous I like it on the wild side. I'll, I'll take that dangerous route, if that's what you want to call it, and I'm just going to live my life for Christ. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this song. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's like really close to my heart. Signing with Infiltrate was amazing. Um, I was a part of the group, and I was a rapper only. I didn't really sing that much, maybe a chorus or here. Um, so we had a mixtape. This is a while back, and I guess they saw the potential in me because um, Chad hit me up, and he was just like, we see the potential in you, we, um, we love your sound, we love your heart for music, and you know, we just want to get to know you better. And then as we chopped it up, he was just like, I think this is a perfect fit. We can't wait to see what we can do with you. Um, and I love Infiltrate because it's not about making you into an artist that we want you to be. It's we want to see your heart, see your goals, see your ministry, and we want to help you flourish the way God wants you to flourish not the way we want you to so it's very um free creatively like everything you're gonna hear on the album i wrote it myself um i love to write music so i know it's from my heart it's coming from a, a real place they're not making me do anything that um you know isn't real uh i love infiltrate and just the guys um that i'm with on the label on my label mates and they're just amazing people it's just fun to just crack up with them and I don't know, just to do life, I guess. I love it. Ain't awake no leap. Ain't awake no leap for business. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited because the way I write all my music on guitar. So at first it's like da 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 da, and it sounds very soft and very girly. But in my head, I want that hard sound. I want that hip hop sound. I want it to um, maybe go on the level that females are afraid to go to because we're kind of put in a box like no you have to do this very quiet and this very chill pop song you know and I, I like that more of like an edgy sound to it and um, Ty Shane and Matt perfect like I mean I'm sure you know there's great producers out there but I'm really really excited to be working with them because they understand me when I say hey let me play this song for you on guitar but I want you to make it edgy and I want you to make it hip-hop and I want you to take it to that level and they do they hear it and we work together well they hear what I want and um, I don't think there's ever really been maybe once or twice here or there very small a time where they're like hey do you like this and I'm like no I don't like it I just love everything that they do they're amazing they're amazing they're so talented it's funny because growing up I could not sing like I couldn't sing in front of people I was nervous I was shaky I couldn't really carry a tune until ninth grade I wanted to be a zoologist like <laughs> I really did I wanted to work with primates and um, all of a sudden I just I, I mean I, I was saved started going to church and then I was in like in the church choir and within a week um, of being in the church choir they had me leading worship and it really came out of nowhere it's it's still like mind boggling to me because I know myself and I know like that wasn't a part of my talent at all. <laughs> so to just one day wake up and have talent and have desire and I know like God put it there and it's not just like I want to do music because I want to sing and I want people to hear me. It's like um, when you turn on the radio and things that you hear it affects you. Like if you go a week straight um, just listening to like everything that the um, industry I guess is putting into your ears putting into your ears you can feel its effect on you so I want to make music that is radio quality that anybody can just turn on in their car and just jam it and not feel like oh I have to take out my Christian CD now because I feel like jamming you know what I mean I want to be able to put it in and it still be stuff that doesn't over time I guess make you feel like you're eroding inside <laughs> I just it, it's like a ministry to me it really is so I want to make good music that doesn't make you feel like crap <laughs>